Hello, my name is Shayna and I am a lead mammal zoologist here at your Dallas Zoo. I primarily work with carnivores, but I also get to work with some of our primate species like gorillas and lemurs. We are about to start our morning meeting, so why don't you guys come along with me? Twice a week, we have morning meetings. We all meet in the Tiger Building with our supervisor. We go over where everyone's gonna be working for the week, any behind the scenes tours we may have, any big projects, and then we'll go over any issues we're having with particular animals. We are on our way back to the African Painted Dog and Lion Building. We also take care of the cheetah. So that's the route that I'm on today. Um, it is one of my most favorite routes because I love working with the lions. It's the best part of the day to really get to know your animals. Uh, it looks like Lena has a cut on her back leg that they're putting betadine spray on twice a day. Since the dogs need their meds this morning, I figured we could just shift them back and then medicate them at the back fence line. We just need to get eyes on our African painted dogs. Um, I saw two that were out here, but we need to double check that all three dogs are where we think they are. I see two. So I was visually able to see Jada and Cholula, but you can see Mazingo was hiding around the rock here. Um, so by using our camera system, I was able to check on him easier. So now we're gonna head inside, put up our signs to let someone know that we're gonna go into the habitats and we are gonna clean our habitats. Good to go into the South Habitat? We're good. Right. Part of our daily servicing of habitats, we are going to pick up poop. Uh, we're going to refresh their water bowls, and then we're just going to make sure that the habitat is still safe. Woo. Kajani is actually the main reason that I came out to the Dallas Zoo. I actually got the chance to raise him when I worked at the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. So I was with him for the first year and a half of his life. When I applied to the Dallas Zoo, I actually found out a few days later that he would be coming out here on a breeding transfer from the Species Survival Plan. So I thought it would be a really great experience to watch him raise cubs. And I've been here with him for three and a half years. So. All right, next we're gonna head over to Cheetah. Cheetah is part of our carnivore route. So when we get over there, we're gonna shift him inside and then we are going to change his water, pick up any feces or any leftover food pieces that he may have left, clean the windows so you get a good look at him and uh, just check the overall habitat. Good, my name is Shana and I am one of our mammal zoologists. At 10.30 every day we have a predator demo. We can either pull the African painted dogs or any of our lions into the space. So this is Bahati. She is one of our female lionesses. Um, she is six years old. So Bahati here is doing some different training. I'm a firm believer that you can't care about something that you don't understand. At our predator demo, we yes, are able to form a better bond and hopefully want to help conserve and protect them in the wild. During COVID, I was able to learn all of the aspects of being a keeper with our 10 gorillas here at the zoo. Hey buddy. We are now at the North Gorilla Bunker. Um, we're about to give Marcus, our 37-year-old silverback, some lunch and some Gatorade since it is a very hot day. Um, he needs that extra hydration. So he's getting the blue Gatorade right now. It's one of his favorites. We buy it just for him. So we to try to give him anywhere from 12 to 15 bottles of fluid a day. You could think if you're pretty thirsty, you could probably down one, but he is a lot larger than we are. And then this one's dilute prune juice. Help keep you regular. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing what the life of a carnivore zoologist is like. We work really hard to make the world a better place for these animals, and I hope to see you guys soon. I gotta get out of here. I have some hungry cats to feed.